a really interesting question. Why did John Whitgift um, establish the foundation he did? Well, you know, he could have used the money to sort of uh, help his family or uh, make himself more grand. And he was certainly quite a grand uh, figure in Elizabethan England. But I think there are some texts that appear in the chapel in the almshouses that give us some clues. And from um, the Bible, but also from some of the, uh, known as the fathers of the church. So for example, St. Bernard of Clairvaux said, um, the entreaties, the cries of the poor, prepare me for the fight. Um, he also said, take away what is inessential and a man will still have all he needs. So he's sort of exploring what it means um, to care for the poor um, in those sayings. St. Augustine as well is another one quoted, the rich man's extravagance can fill the poor man's needs. So Whitgift, who's accumulating wealth in his life, can fill the poor man's needs. The one whose heart is full of loving kindness always has something to give. These, I think, are deep texts um, that Whitgift will have been very familiar with because he was a, an educated man. Um, and he who takes pity on the poor gives to the Lord. And that's what I suggest is the, the heart of what Whitgift was about, both in caring for the poor in terms of the provision of almshouses and opening up education to the poor in terms of the young. One who takes pity on the poor is giving to the Lord. And I think that gets us somewhere to understanding John Whitgift's vision.